Adios, amigo. Hi. <laughs> here I am again. And here we all are again. And as a parent of color of a young daughter, of my daughter who goes to a middle school here, I am very much against police. I want everyone here who has a female bodied or transgendered uh, child to think of that person being touched and perhaps even grabbed by an ERO in an altercation. That happened to me over 30 years ago at East High School. Imagine a brown boy and a white boy getting into a fight. This girl's trying to put them against each other. Principal comes in, grabs <laughs> me by my waist. My boyfriend is so upset. He knocks him on the head, gets this big old <laughs> gooseball. Had that guy not been a principal that was about my height, kind of bald, not intimidating whatsoever, had he been a, a police officer, do you think any of us would be here? I don't think so. What I don't like about this whole situation, and some of you might look at me and be like, oh, it's you. It is me, Araceli. Not any other name, but Araceli. It, it frightens me to know that we've all seen each other in the mirrors right now because of this scenario. And other Gen Xers and parents of color have come to me and said, you know what, but we went through that too, Araceli. We always had that police officer, you know, on, 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 on 4th Street. He was always there. He was there when the Rodney King happened. He was there when Becky and Birkin died. He was there. They were always there. But were they there? Did they do anything for us? No, they didn't. They absolutely did. I didn't know how to breathe until I had my baby. That's when I learned how to meditate. That's when I learned how to breathe. So it is not the police that are going to help me or help any of these kids of color to learn how to relax, how to learn, and how to be what they need to be in this world. Police officer is not going to help us do that. But guess what, maybe less intimidating principals who want to get in a brawl sometimes with us will. And give us that second chance of not expelling us. You know, they'll actually have that heart and just be like, hey, it's okay, I get it, you had a bad day or what have you. They'll brush it off. But not a police officer. He'll, he will escalate it, unlike Ms. Ms. number 17 doesn't understand that they will always escalate it. And not just that escalate it, they will put their hands on my baby's, on my baby's body. I do not want that. I don't ever want that. I don't ever want a police officer touching my child. And that is exactly what bring, wakes me up at night. That's what brings me here to this podium and made me leave her <laughs> eating like soup for dinner, okay? So that I could come here and tell you I don't want a police officer to touch my baby. And that's very real. That's a real need as a parent of color who has, was born and raised in this culture and has gone through your school district. And please don't put favorites amongst us either, amongst people of color. Just because one Asian American woman is good enough for you to say her name and not these other women, you need to say all of our names correctly.